Hello guys, we are finishing the year, so I would like to make this video um, about my experience living two years in Serbia. Uh, I have two years without coming back to my country, like I am from Mexico, uh, or here they say Mexico. I am from Mexico and uh, I have very nice experience living here in Serbia. This is an amazing country. And of course, I have maybe two or three bad experiences here in Serbia, and I would like to speak today about that in this video. Well, when I got in Serbia uh, two years ago, it was an amazing experience because, well, my first, uh, the first place where I was living, it was uh, Subotica. Subotica is an amazing place where I met a few friends. I still have that friends in my life, and they are so kind. The Serbians, I it surprised me because everybody when I was living in Mexico. Uh, and I told them, well, I will go to live to know, to Serbia. Everybody told me, hey man, don't go there because the people, you know, they want to, to make war, they want to make problems to the world. Everything is a lie. Everything is a lie. Serbians, uh, in the beginning, uh, of course, well, I am from Mexico and I never uh, spoke Serbian and I didn't know anything about the country. For me, it was like, Oh, come on, I will go there and maybe uh, I will have some problems because I don't speak Serbian. Then everybody, when they saw me, of course, they <laughs> asked me, Hey, guy, where are you from? We, we see that you are not from here. Of course, uh, in Subotica, sometimes in uh, Hungarian and in Serbian. But when I, said, when I said to them, well, I don't speak, when I told them that I don't speak Serbian, I was speaking in English. And everybody told me, oh, no, go, no problem, no problem. Uh, we're going to speak in English too. And I told them, well, this is my, my second language because I speak Spanish. And they tell me, oh, no, but at the name of, no, no problem. We speak Hungarian, uh, Serbian, English, uh, Italian, French. I know, uh, I know of my, I have a friend and he speaks Italian, uh, Hungarian, Serbian, English, Spanish. Uh, he's polyglot, he's crazy, he's an amazing guy. And then uh, the people invite me to eat with them without, uh, okay, I have a friend that told me, hey, go to eat somewhere. And I told him, man, I am not working. I don't have uh, enough money to go to eat with you. And I, uh, he told me, man, you don't have to pay. I am asking you that you come with me. And I start to discover that almost all the Serbians are like that. Uh, so kind, they want to share with you the table. They want to share with you the traditions. They want to share with you uh, the house, even sometimes they tell me, hey Jorge, uh, it's too late, if you want, you can still stay in my home to sleep and the next day you go. And another guy said to me, no, 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 you, you can't come with me. And I was like so surprised and I tell him, well, I have my train to come back to Novisat in, in a few moments. And then, no, no, no problem, you, we want to give you our place. You are our guest, you are uh, our friend. And so in that part, Serbians are amazing. I have two, uh, in these two years, almost 700 days or more, I just have uh, two bad experience. Uh, maybe with Serbians, they don't have, uh, uh, they, they don't have the lucky, they are not lucky to be uh, good persons, maybe. Because every, in every part of the world, we have a good person and bad persons. Then I was in the, I, I offered uh, I offered a class, to give uh, to give class to a girl that she wants she 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 went to Mexico to to be a star in Televisa and I offer my service like a Spanish teacher for fifty euros and uh, when we finished the first class I told her okay uh, this is my class this is gonna be a conversation class I can teach you the rules because it's not my I am not a specialist in that. I can teach you how to speak, the pronunciations, and everything to correct your your grammatical. And then she told me, "Okay, no problem, Jorge. I like we're gonna work until uh, I go to Mexico." And I told her, "Okay, the price is this." And in the end, it was fifty euros. And in the end, she went to Mexico. She was there. Maybe I told her, oh, "Hey, girl, you need to pay to me because I gave to you a service." And she told me, "No, I will pay. Okay, no problem." When I come back, I'm gonna pay you. Then I told her, I asked her, I asked her, uh, when, where are you coming back? When are you coming back? And uh, she told me, maybe in one week. After two, one week, I asked her, are you in Serbia? Uh, because I need that you pay to me. 
And then she told me in Serbian, hey man, you will not die for 50 euros. 50 euros in Serbia is around 6,000 dinars, around 1,200 pesos. But everything of this growth, she growed it in Serbian. Of course, I know Serbian. And I asked, I um, replied to her, why are you, uh, this, is, uh, this is not polite, you are, you, are, you are so rude because we are speaking Spanish and I am speaking you with the Spanish, now you are, you are telling me these words in Serbian. And she told me, hey man, if you are in Serbia, you have to speak Serbian. And I say, okay, but I, we were speaking in Spanish, I know the rule, we can speak in English because my Serbian, of course I speak Serbian, but I am not a, a Serbian, so I will be more slow to write to her. And for me, it was like, what a cheap person, no? But however, and in the end, um, she told me, you know what? I am not happy with your service. I am not happy because uh, your Spanish is not good. And I will not, I am not going to pay to you. So stop to bother me, stop to follow me, and stop to strangle me with this message because I am not going to pay to you. When I told that to my friends, they told me, hey man, this is a bad experience because maybe she's a cheap person, maybe she's a uh, ignorant person, so don't focus on that. And of course, I didn't die for 50 euros. I'm still alive, I have good uh, experience and I am knowing more about the life here. And another experience that I had, I got out of my job with uh, two friends, they speak, of course, they speak English, they speak uh, German, and they speak uh, Hungarian, of course, Serbian, and because they are kind with me, and we, uh, of course, we were in the bus, and we were speaking English, and a girl uh, was with, he, with her baby, and she just turned to us and said, hey, guys, if you are in Serbia, you have to speak Serbian because I don't want English classes in the bus. And, and a friend of me, uh, she, she told to her, hey, we are being kind because our colleague, our colleague uh, he doesn't speak uh, Serbian and we want to have a conversation with him because he is part of us, he is part of our group. And she told no because when she, she told her, no, because when uh, me like Serbian, when we go to Germany, when we go to Italy, when we go to some part of another part of the world, they want that we speak uh, German, they want that we speak English, they want that we speak Spanish, and they want that we speak Italian. If he's in Serbia, he has to speak Serbian because uh, Serbians are like that. Of course, uh, I understood almost everything that she said, and in that moment I felt like you know, like angry, like disappointed, but of course I am living here two years. I have to, I have, uh, I need to get that experience right? because I am not Serbian, of course. And it doesn't mean that all the Serbians are like that. For me, the 99% of the Serbians, uh, all the 99% people that I know, for me are so kind. They are um, amazing friends. They are amazing people. and they know how to enjoy the life and for me they have all the respect uh, and I am learning more and more and more and I hope that someday I will be <laughs> a Serbian speaker so this is the last video of the year and I hope that you will enjoy your, your, you enjoy your Christmas the New Year party and enjoy your life my Brates, moi, moi, brate, moi, prijatelji, vidimo se posle, hoću da ti uđivaš ovaj žurke na novogodinu. Ćao, vidimo se.